Hey everyone and welcome again to my video. Today I'm going to show you the real power of exposure adjustment layer. Um, most of the people when they will be using exposure adjustment layer will be thinking about just one slider which is exposure and that is correct because it's a really easy way to adjust the exposure of the image but it doesn't solve all of the problems because we also have two other sliders such as offset and gamma correction and there is the reason why they are here because the exposure cannot solve all of the problems you see the exposure mainly will be affecting your highlights it will not necessarily affect the shadows the way you want or it's not going to necessarily affect the midtones the way you want especially on the image like this one this image is rather bright, so the highlights are pretty strong, I believe. Maybe knocking down some exposure would be the right way. But I can see here that my shadows are already a little bit washed out. Or the midtones also are not perfect. So how to fix this? And to fix this, I will be using the different sliders. So first of all, exposure. Uh, also, when you're using, better drag it on the sign, not over here, because it allows you to correct it very precisely and the drops are one by one when you will be using slider. As you can see, it's really difficult to adjust it correctly. So I'm lowering exposure a little bit and as I said, it mainly affects the highlights. Then we have offset and let's see how the offset works. When I'm going to the left side, I'm mainly affecting the dark pixels. When I'm going to the right side, I'm also affecting the dark pixels, but this time I'm actually making it even more washed out. So I'm adding and I'm brightening the dark pixels. So if I want to correct this effect, this kind of angry washed out effect I had, I will lower the offset, but not as much, just a little bit to make it right and contrasty. And then I'm going to check the gamma. And as you can see, going to the left side, uh, gamma is brightening rather mid-tones, maybe a little bit of the dark pixels and going to the right. So lowering gamma is darkening the mid-tones a little bit, especially when I work with the image like sunset, like this one. It allows me to correct and remove the haze that I had over here. So let's have a look. This is before and this is after. This simple tool exposure helped me to solve the issues that more likely no other adjustment layer in Photoshop would allow me to fix. Thank you for watching and of course before you close this video Make sure you check my premium courses. I do a lot of courses on retouching. I'm a professional retoucher working with fashion and beauty industry. So if you are interested in that, if you are a photographer who wants to learn more about portrait retouching, if you want to be a retoucher, uh, check out the links in the description. For sure, they are going to help you. Thank you and see you in the next video.